Alright, I'm gonna try something, and it kinda relies on me knowing for sure which one of them's the beast. And I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, first of all, let's take these guys out. There's someone down here, right? Hey, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh! Clever blocker. There we go. Alright. So I think the one on top is the beast. I'm gonna give it my best go. Making a break for it. Kaha! It's like disarming a bomb. <laughs> there we go. And I believe Crystal Lizard is a one time spawn. Yeah, Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 rules, I think, because we're in a. In Demon Souls, I think they spawned over and over again. In fact, I think they might have even spawned a limited number of times per playthrough. And you got you could farm as many as you want or something, and they'd eventually despawn forever. Never picked this up last time. Black fire bombs. Let's see here. Let's take care of you before you become a problem. Had a slight range problem there. There we go. Hup. Drop anything? No. Alright. So here's the door I was talking about. One of the loose ends we still have. There's the executioner down there somewhere patrolling. There he is. So what do we find around? Ooh, we have a lance user, or spear user, I guess. He has lance behaviors with the way he charges you. This is going to be a little worrisome. I haven't rested at a bonfire yet, so I don't have flasks. So uh, good luck, me. Ow. That freaking backhand shield they do is brutal. It's like, Kai, you think you found an opening? Smack! Ow. Oh no. Oh no. Don't push me off anything. Do not push me off things, please. You deserve this! Ah, He blocked it. Ow, the range! Why so range? Ow. The tracking this guy has. He's really good at correcting his trajectory. Yes! I don't even care if I used fire bombs. Ooh! I have his great shield now. Well, if I ever need a powerful shield, it's probably gonna be my go-to. Probably a good option. 100% physical resistance, higher every other type of resistance. Requires 36 strength. Okay, maybe not. But I'm sure that's gotta have crazy poise. Hopefully there's not too many knights around here, because, uh... I'm out of heals. Although, it won't be that hard to get back here. Hey, friend. Are you waiting for me to Yeah, you are. I know your type. I know your type. It's never just a crossbowman. The crossbowman's always there as some kind of scheme to mess with you. Hey, friend. Are you gonna dramatically pop out of that at some point, or are you just waiting behind the pots? Like that guy from beginning of Mass Effect that survived the ambush. There we go. Undead Hunter Charm. Okay, I, haven't, I don't know what that one is. Is it like the... Whatever it's... Uh, is it like the thing that stops Estes healing? Pre prevents Estes recovery with a limited area. Yeah. Tool used to hunt down the undead. Blocks Estes recovery within a limited area. Used long ago by Lloyd's Cleric Knights on their undead hunts. Although All Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the way of white, his hunts have lived on and his charm allows one to challenge undead without fear of tenacious healing. So invade somebody's game, throw that at them, and they won't be able to heal. That's actually kind of handy. Uh, the fact that it was not called a Lloyd's Talisman threw me off a little bit, but uh, the icon seemed almost exactly the same, so I figured that's what it was going to turn out to be, and lo and behold, they mentioned Lloyd right in the description. The name has just changed, because no one remembers Lloyd anymore. So it has been generations. It would make sense for items to still exist in this game from previous versions of the game, but have different names. Look at these people climbing up and everything. It is, it's like I'm in the Undead Church, I think it was called. Ow. The Undead Parish? Yeah, the Undead Parish. Place right after the Undead Burg. Titanite Shard. Welcome. Very welcome find. And of course I'm rolling through all the debris. Who do you think I am? I like that part about, like, Dark Souls is this super serious game for super serious players with a super serious tone. 
But everyone turns into a happy cat the moment they're in a room full of super destructible barrels, and they just start rolling around like a lunatic. <laughs> it just happens. Don't question it. Just give in. And hope that the physics doesn't crash your game somehow. Because that would be tragic. Have I been this way yet? I think this is still a loose end. Someone hiding in here? Oh, side path. Treasure ahead. Physical treasure or like mental treasure? Oh, this is a whole area I haven't seen before. Yeah, and I'll have no trouble getting through the whole thing without taking any damage. Ah, crap. Um, do I have an FP recovery item in my inventory? This is turning into an ongoing thing now. Stamina recovery. Boost hit points until death. Using an ember is tempting, but it seems a little excessive. Frankly, I'd rather just take the death and just come back. Not actually a big deal to get here. You just have to run through everything and fight one night. Hey, two more green blossoms. The item I never use, even when I probably should. I'm sure it would come in handy in a boss fight or something, I'm just bad at using it. So we have a dog, we have a axe user, we have some decrepit crying people. We have a point we have a way of dropping down that's a point of no return. So let's first try this other direction instead. And trying to get killed by this dude. Was that something over there? No. Nope. Gotcha. I was a little worried we were gonna have a mutual hit there and he, we were both gonna execute each other at the same time. Broadsword. Ooh. That's gotta be some fun. We have a long we have two long swords, now we have a broadsword. Is there different skills? They both have stance. Break foes guard, strong slash. Yeah, same item. Same special moves. Straight sword with a broad blade designed for slashing. A large sweeping attack makes this effective against crowds, but is prone to deflection from walls and narrow spaces. It's a very specific explanation. It has better strength scaling. I'm kind of curious if I compare these two. Do they actually have different movesets? So here's the broadsword. And here's the longsword. Longsword stab. Oops. Forgot about the spear. Whoa, Broadsword has a much more dramatic right trigger that, that's significantly slower. Alright, that's worth considering. That's one of the hidden quirks about this game. Is you can look up on a wiki what the numbers are and the stats are for all these different weapons. But, but and I found this when I was uh doing my when I was making my strength character for Dark Souls 2, New Game Plus. Uh, you can look at the stats all day of what gives you technically the highest numbers, but the move sets can be so wildly different, or even just the speed and the feel of them can be so different, or the little tweaks at range, and like other things that aren't really shown in stats can have massive differences on how much you actually feel good about using that particular weapon. Oh cool, it was just like a pot or a bowl or something. I thought I tr triggered a trap, which is a thing we haven't seen yet. Friend! Are you chest? You are chest. Silver Eagle Kite Shield. Looks like it's also upgraded. And now we can keep in mind, when the chain is curled back, then it's not a mimic. The one that had that was a mimic had its did not have its chain curled back. So I think we're still doing this the chain rules from the first game. Goodbye, friend. Now tell me about your shield. Ooh, I already have a I already have a kite shield, so what's the silver one do? What does it do? Also, is someone coming after me right now? I heard footsteps. I have to be careful about that. So what's the difference between this, uh... Compared to this one? Less durability. More weight. Heavier. Oh, it's flat out a different weapon. It is a different shield, though. I thought it was a different... Uh, I thought it might have been a kite shield with, like, a gem on it or something, but it... It, uh, seems to have a stabbing icon. But it has a wep- it has a different weapon skill. Equipping the skill in the left hand allows one to perform the skill in the right hand weapon. Ooh! That's handy. It decreases your power, though. It still has 100% physical, though, at the very least. That's very tempting. Apparently the equip load maximum f before you get fat rolly is 6 is 70%. So let's give, the, let's give this new kite shield a shot. 
Looks a little different, has the same physical resistance, but not other things. And it'll allow me to do my my crazy stab. Uh without having to go into two-hand mode, which is rather awkward, because it, it'll help me capitalize on big on big weaknesses, basically. Cause uh when I'm trying to capitalize on the opening on like that for that first boss we did, for example, or the the second boss technically, the ice one, uh going to two-hand mode was kinda rough. Hey buddy. Pokey pokey pokey. Uh oh. Pokey pokey. There we go. I do not want to fight them at the same time. Or at least I want to firebomb them if I have to. Can I get one of your attention? But like just one of you, please? Notice me? Yes, he noticed me. Huh. Uh oh. So much for that. Friend! There we go. Got it through it cleanly. I have to be so careful because we're going to lose. I just want to... I'm trying not to die. While also trying not to use my ember. It's a dumb idea. Two axe users. Identical. They're dangerous to fight simultaneously because they can do their jumping attack. Which is not something you want to have coming from the side of the screen when you don't see it coming. Hey, hello. Buddy. There we go. They're very vulnerable to the stabs. Almost as if internal organs are important or something. Ooh. Explodes. Oh no. Well, that was wishful thinking. I was like, those barrels look really destroyable. Let's try to explode them. It didn't work. And then my head exploded. <laughs> Alright, we're just about where we left off now. Oh, Pike Man. Oh no, did they just both aggro? Oh, cool, he was just rotating or something. <laughs> I was worried for a moment there. Pokey pokey! Yeah. <laughs> the stuns are so useful when you, when you get them off. You, just, you have to be really careful at return fire. Something I notice a lot is that when I'm using my shield, if I do the stab attack, uh, if I'm getting hit at the same time, I do still take damage, so that you, uh, something about the attack does reduce the effectiveness of your shield, which normally does 100% block. Stabby, stabby! I'm out of stamina. <laughs> That's bad. There we go. And we are clear, and we're back where we left off. And one as this flask is left. Oh! <laughs> Corners, man. Corners are scary. Yep. <laughs> I almost feel bad, but it's a horrifying monster dog. Man, I am sympathetic as all hell about dogs and games, but the moment they look like that is when you defeat that in me. That was satisfying. That seems to be the balcony overlooking the executioner. <gasps> Estes shard! We found our first Estes shard. That should increase the number of Estes flasks if it works the same way as it did in Dark Souls 2. And the cell key. That might be used for the... That might be used for the locked door upstairs. Not destructible. Worth a shot, though. Alright, we'll have to revisit that, uh, locked off area we visited earlier. Bad guys? There's the executioner. Nope. I don't know what I thought that would do, because it clearly would go back to the room we were already in. This just seems to be the place where it lets out. Yep, right back at the executioner again. Alright, we're gonna want to backtrack, so I need to find my way back to that cell key, the... Back to, ooh, hello. I think I turn around. Titanite shard. Welcome find, for sure. Yeah, I'll have to find my way back to that locked door to test to see whether or not this works on that. Who is burning to death right now? <laughs> well, I'm gonna get some easy credit, I guess. Give me your souls. They belong to me now. Yep, that happened. I did nothing to instigate that. I just walked in here to kill people in here for a second and came out and I'm like, what? What's that health bar? Well, I don't think he dropped anything. All right, let's try that flask now. Reinforce this flask. Yes. Yes. Now we have five. That's fantastic. At some point, I think I'll have 
actual blues in there too, but for now, I don't have a lot of spells to cast. And I think the health access trumps having more uses of my weapon art. At least that's my current opinion. I assume I can't reinforce my weapon right now. Mm, nope. We need three more Titanite shards. Pretty be careful. Will do. I do have a habit of being careful, although I've died a lot already, so we'll just dis disregard that part. Very well done. So we'll, do, we'll see how much I can level up, and then I'll probably spend the rest on arrows to see what I can do there. I'm working on increasing my damage here. One, one, it increases by one in both cases. I need 20 dexterity for that uh, upgrade though, that item. Ha. Huh. Need another 700 souls to level up again. I could probably consume some hard souls to uh, get that much, but instead of doing that, I think I'm just gonna go all in on arrows. Wait, you sell five? No, you don't. I have five. Okay. Oh, they cost five. Cool. Yeah, I. I could mac. I get a comical amount of these really quickly. Is that the most I can carry? You can only have two hundred arrows, which only costs less than a thousand souls. So it's totally worth it just to grab those to get that uh supply up. And so now. What? Oh, standard arrows, apparently, apparently wood arrows are more, uh, are weaker than standard arrows. But it's the it's the thing that I can buy right now. I wonder if I need to buy more. Surely 99 would be enough, right? I'm gonna put that in slot one. Alright, I wonder if I can get this to work. Hey, come shoot over here, buddy, while that knight is outside. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, burn the night. <laughs> I think I got him. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, the night died to, to that. I'm so happy that it works. Hey, an ember. All right, so I'm gonna just click away at this guy for a while and see if anything happens or if he dies eventually. Cause Dark Souls. Ooh, large Titanite shard. What's happening? Oh, he's leaving. Come back! Oh, he's out of here. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Well, I got my lar my first large Titanite shard, I think. Is that my first one? Yeah. Yep. Titanite shards are fragments of legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. There we go. So the dragon's gone. I don't know if he's gone for good or if I'll come back when I rest. Don't really plan on finding out if I can... Well, I, I'll find out, but I don't plan on resting right now to find out. Because that took a long time. And actually, it took most of my arrows. Yep, I have 16. I went from 99 to 16. A combination of the weakness of the arrows and the... Uh, ooh. Drops. Combination of weak arrows and other nonsense. Maybe... Might have been shooting them at a non-ideal spot, too. I noticed that when I would change my aim a little bit, the damage I did would vary a bit, but not by a ton. But now I can find out what those items are that are right in front of this, this guy. Oh, nope, he's aggroing. No sneaking past this guy. This dedicated watchman. Bye! And there she blows. Now what's up here? Oh no. None of them are dead. I really should have did this a little differently. Can I aggro like one of you? Yes. Yes. Alright. Hey friend. Hey buddy old pal. Shield splitter. I can do that whenever I want now. Isn't that fun? I'm sure you agree. <laughs> It'll be nice having that ability uh, without having to switch to two-hand mode. Alright. We'll work our way to the back of the room and go forward from there. Then At least then there's no one behind me. Desecrated corpse. That was the biggest threat, probably, right? Everyone else looks like a normal hollow. That they all get slap happy. Come on. Yes. Exactly what I was hoping for. He looks aggroed. You, you're looking mighty aggroed right now, buddy. Oh! That was ineffective. And now that I think they're all mad at me, so... Mistakes may have been made. Oh yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh no! <laughs> Weapon art, why? 
Oh, well, I got one of them at least, but damn. There we go. The weapon art's so strong, but if it misses, it's tragic. There we go. And I have five flasks, so I just used one, and I still have what I've now accept what I've gotten used to as being the normal amount. That was an early roll. There we go. That was a that was a damage spike as a result of uh of counterattack damage, which is one of the reasons I like to use thrust weapons, even though they're. Lack of swing means that it's easy for them to miss attacks sometimes. Ooh, the Claymore. This game really is a love letter to the first Dark Souls. I hope it. I hope that wears off at some point. Because on one level, it's like, oh, that's cute. But on, the, on, a, on a different level, it's like, uh... I played... I have that game already, though, man. Don't use all the same ideas. Because, yeah, we had the, uh... We have the dragon periodically attacking an open area covered in hollows where you... First of all, you could use that as, as free soul farming because you keep triggering the fight and resting in a bonfire early on. And they you just kill, keep killing these two sets of hollows for you. And then also, you when you get out past that, uh, there's a claymore hiding away in the room. Just like in the original. The claymore, the claymore was my favorite weapon back when I was new at playing Dark Souls because it got you through a big... It could get you through a chunk of the original game pretty easily. Did I ever walk... Did I go right past it? Oh, right. It's the X. Stance. Uh, guard break and slash, the usual. A An unusually large and heavy greatsword, normally wielded with two hands. This highly versatile weapon can be swung broadly or thrusted. Yeah, I loved the claymore as a new player. It had a good moveset difference where you could, you could, you could slash back and forth and you could thrust as two different button inputs. And it had pretty good damage and scaling while requiring relatively low stats. And you could get it really early on in the game, so it was really handy for a, a new Dark Souls player, and it got me through most of the game, basically. Uh, club. Simple wooden club, characterized by savage leaping attacks. This crude, bladeless strike weapon is effective against most foes and can break the guard of a shield. It has the war cry effect. Alright, well I got the claymore. Good to know. At this point, our, our big uh, loose end is just the, uh, that locked cell. Surprise, motherfucker! Zoom. That's just satisfying. <laughs> Given the opportunity. Alright, do you open? No. Not that one. It's behind an elevator, though, so I would... I, uh, it does say locked, though, instead of it doesn't open from the side. But yeah, there's an elevator behind it, which would make me think that I'd open it from the other end, somehow. Hello, friend. Oopsie, did I get the drop on you? Ow! I guess the joke's on me. Like, oh, I ran past your attack, what are you gonna do? And his, apparently his answer was just to throw the firebomb in my face instead. To which I say, touche and good night, sweet, sweet prince, because you did. I hope it was worth it. Is this the key? Yes. I mean, it was clearly a cell, because there was a person in it, so... Very, uh, descriptive name for a key. Hello? Ah. Uh. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. The Blue Tearstone Ring. Oh, he's just gone. You don't very often see characters just disappear like that. Increases damage absorption when health is low. Increased defense, basically. And it is, uh... 
How much what did it increase my weight? Whoa, by like three. Still, keeps me below 70, so I'm not fat rolling yet. Probably doesn't hurt to have on for now. But I'm supposed to deliver to a Loretta in the Undead Settlement, which is, I believe, exactly where we left off previously after we fought that boss fight. So I think it is time to go forward now after this, what I think is, has been a satisfying amount of backtracking and uh, tying up of loose ends for now. I imagine there's still something around here, because that elevator leads somewhere. But I don't have the key. So we'll have to see if that comes up later, or if I have a reason to come back here again later. We will have to see. But otherwise... I just want to say, like, I'm happy that the game pronounced that guy's name out loud, because I would have had a lot of... I probably would have had a lot of trouble figuring out how to pronounce that name if I just saw it spelled out, but... Pronounced, it was just Grey Rat, apparently. It's about as straightforward as can be, really. And so we go to the foot of the high wall.